And there it is. This is the SK3548 970 RPM motor. So I'll zoom in on it so you guys can see it. Uh, it's pretty sharp looking. Uh, there's our prop holder and our engine mount. It looks pretty thick. So this is a 3548 so you guys can see it. These are straight out of the box. Straight out of the package. So that's the 3548. That's the this one is the, the 5065. That's the 3530. And this one is the 3536. So you guys can see what they look like. And looks they come with the hardware. They come I'll dump the box here. Oh, we even got another motor in here. Oh, we got the small motors. Oh, there was a couple motors in here. There's uh, th four motors in that box. So, let's see what these are. I ordered a 22, 26, or 28. I forgot exactly which one it is. So this one looks like it may be it for her to make a small tricopter. And this is the, actually it's a 2826. This one is a 28, let's see if this will focus out in the light. Now some of my new motors this came today and uh, now the 3-1 Pockets channel, we're starting to get into some RC hobby stuff and I got a bag of uh, motors here I ordered um, getting start pulling some of them out we're going to unbox these are EMP um, SK series motors and I'm going to build a hex copter and uh, a sailplane and a few other things so I'm just going to basically unbox these I don't have a battery or anything to do stat testing on these but I'm gonna st start opening these and show you guys so you can see how they now these in. are going to be the SK series um, 50 55 brushless motors now I'm planning to build a hex copter uh, a pretty big one and I'm gonna start cutting these open so they can see what they look like um, it took a while. Anytime you want to order stuff from overseas, you got to be patient. And these took me about a, uh, just short of a month to get. And here's the first one. This is, um, let's see if you guys can see this. This is what the, the way they come in the package. Um, this is. You know, uh, I opened uh, the first one. And it doesn't really have a, a sticker on it. This is the 51 or the, the 5055. That's the hardware kit. And I opened another one. Now, this one's got the sticker on it. So I guess some of them have the sticker, some do not. Um, that's that's pretty, much, pretty much it. It's got this one's got a small, a smaller uh, little sticker, it just says 600 RPM. And this one says 580, which is basically 600 RPM. They're going to vary a little tiny bit, so you guys can see them. And this is what the little hardware kit looks like that comes with them. It's got the motor mount. It's got the the blade spinner. It's got the the bearing, um, the load bearing. I'm not sure what they call that, but what it does is it goes on the bottom of the uh, motor and you tighten it down and it keeps when the when you have the the blade spinner on top when it goes to create th thrust this little clamp lock here stops it from being able to tear out this little uh, bearing or um, support it keeps the the shaft from ripping through as the thrust is created. Um, this this motor is really powerful. 
it's a 80 to 100 amp motor so that they are really strong and I'll open up a couple more now I got six of these and um, they're going to be um, part of the project of making the my the large hex copter I'm working on this is like the most important thing I need is the these and the ESC's but this is what I got in today here's another one I'll open this up Now this one's got the sticker on it also. There's another one, so another prop kit and motor mount. It also comes with the uh, the connectors for the ESC for your solder joints, which I thought that was that's pretty unique. Pull one out of here so you can see it. Now these will plug into the ESC for the wire connectors. You just push those on once you get everything soldered into place. Now when I was going to build um, a hex copter, getting ready and started planning to do this, I didn't know anybody that had any information on um, these motors. So. I put this short video together just so people can see it. Now I don't have any uh, batteries here for testing, doing stamp tests and stuff like that, but I'm basically just showing um, this is pretty much the way a lot of the stuff arrived to me and so you guys can see it a little bit more clear. This is um, the main one I want to use for the, the hex copter, the heavy lift he hex copter that I'm going to, I'm planning on building. And this is the uh, this is the 5055 and this is the SK EMP motor. Um, I've got six of those and now I'm going to put together a sailplane eventually and I, I did pick up this um, um, the 5065. It's a little bit bigger. And I'll put the two side by side so you can see them. Now you can see uh, pretty much the difference. Uh, it's just a little bit uh, taller with this 5065. It probably has one more ring of coils on the armature than the 5055. Now here is the um, this is the 3548 um, that I I purchased. Um, I've got uh, same with those. I've got six of them. That was uh, the original hex copter I was going to build. Now originally I started out I was going to get the um, use the Turnigy um, 3548 now that's this one here I bought this one and I was going to get um, the five more but when I got the money the next week I noticed on the um, Hobby King uh, website they were all back ordered so I that's when I discovered the EMP motors on eBay um, so I started um, these ones were right in stock on eBay and they were mailed out immediately. Most of these now I won in an auction on eBay. They're a lot cheaper that way. Um, as long as they have a surplus of them, they will auction them off. But now I notice that these ones are starting to disappear also. You can buy them straight up price and they do have them in stock, but the surplus is no longer that I, uh, there that I've noticed. Now the next size down is um, the 3536. Now I got four of those. Those were also auctioned and I'm going to build a quadcopter with those. And I've got three of the, the 3530s, which is this one right here. And the next size down, the, now the 3530 I was going to make a, a tricopter with that along with, now this is the smallest one. This is the 35, I'll zoom in on it a little bit, or this is a, actually a 26 no, this one is a 2826. So you can see there the size differences there. I'll start with that one and go up along the path here. And but anyway, that's I just put this short video together so people could see them. And now the 
going getting back to the 35 48 now the the EMP 3548 is a little tiny bit different than the 3548 Turnigy. Now the bottom where the motor mount mounts up, our motor mounts are staggered slightly. This these two here are staggered differently from these two. Now on the, the Turnigy, they're all equal all the way around on the the bottom of the motor that where the support is. And at the top part, the holes are a little tiny bit different. They're a little bit thicker. The little fan that's up on the top on the EMP, and they're a little thinner on the um, the Turnigy. So, other than that, that's pretty much the main thing I see different. It looks like the copper is a little bit different color inside the uh, the Turnigy that on the windings versus the the EMP motor. Now I saw a lot of people leaving comments on some websites stating that the motors, some of the motors they they bought like along this line, a few of them were had bad magnet magnets inside they were glued in improperly or they were dragging on the armature or they were grinding the bearings were grinding right out of the box they didn't even put them on their uh, aircraft that they were building now every single box that I opened so far and checked they are all smooth and there's no dragging at all on the bearings there on all the ones that I've opened and um, I've been really happy with that because that's one thing I was afraid of. But they came in really nice packaging. As you can see, they're they're pretty much that's this one here is the the 35, 36, and you can see how it comes in the box or where I opened. I didn't even pull that one out yet. This is the 35, 48, and I already got the the 50, 55s open. So now one more thing that you're gonna need you're going to need um, for the smaller series of motors you're going to need the 1.5 the small hex wrench to assemble them along with a Phillips head screwdriver to, to a small Phillips head to mount the bottom screws in the bottom of the motor now on the, the bigger series you're going to need a 2 millimeter and the 2.5 to assemble the, you're going to need the 2.5 to assemble the top hex um, bolts that go through here. Now I believe the one going through the side of the belt is the 1.5. There, one thing nice on these, the bigger ones, is up to the opposing side they also have another screw that helps lock the bell down to the motor. And same with our, now that this one, the first one I just showed you on the bell mount is the 5065 and the, the 5055 also has the same um, thing. The, it has the 1.5 millimeter hex nut inside there to mount the bell down to the shaft and to the opposing side it also has one so it's pinched together to help hold the bell on where the magnets are installed in, inside here. So. I'm just pointing that out so I hope you guys enjoyed these uh, this short video on it now eventually I hope to get the, the batteries in soon and get everything going so I can uh, get this project underway I'm real busy at work right now so it's real difficult for me to do this kind of stuff so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of 3-1 Pockets and thanks for watching